Okay, so what is a function? So um, today we'll be looking at what the structure of a function is. Um, we will then also look at uh, why functions are useful uh, and, and when we will use a function as opposed to just um, writing a normal block of code. And then also in some cases I will optimize functions and that's, that's one of the reasons why I let you do that little exercise before because sometimes when you have to run a block of code or you want to write a script, you will just write the basics in there. And as you go along, you realize, oh, I need to account for the fact that somebody might type this in lowercase, or I need to convert everything to uppercase, and you optimize your function or, or your code. And you basically do the same with functions too. As you go along, you might see, oh, the user might want to also be able to choose this part themselves and that part themselves, and then you optimize uh, the function for that. Uh, but we'll see some examples later on. Okay, so the typical syntax or structure of a good function is that it consists of mainly five parts. Um, so in Python, you recognize a function by uh, this word, def, like for define, define the function. You, it, it will then have a function name, just like you would have a variable name. And again, choose a, an intuitive name for your function. So for example, if we take, take the code that we just wrote, if you're going to count the 80 content, then you would probably write def count 80. It then has open brackets, and this can either be empty with brackets, or you could fill it with an argument or multiple arguments. Then you would have sometimes a body of code. This will give more um, complexity to your code. Um, you know, depending on what you want to do, we haven't done again conditionals, but you might need want to add some more things to the body um, of your code. Um, this will go here and note that a function when it's defined with its name and the brackets, it ends in a colon. And the minute you see a colon in Python, that means the next block of code or the next uh, line is going to be indented. And these lines are called the body of the code. And then Generally, a good function will have a return statement, but some functions do not have it. They might have a print um, function or statement, for example. Okay. So here's a, a little bit of a, a function that somebody wrote. Um, and again, they made it intuitive, as I said. You see the word def, and you know, oh, this is the function I'm dealing with. And you can see by reading it what this function is doing. It's taking something a value that's given to it Fahrenheit, a temperature, and it's converting it to Celsius. And it takes one argument, which is in this case the temperature given in Fahrenheit. And it's going to, the return statement is over here, so it's going to give you this where it's doing the math to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. And note this has no body, this is just a simple function um, that has the function name and what it's going to return. Now, like I said, a function can have a body also, and here you see that there's an additional line added to the bottom of the of the function name. But again, intuitive, you can basically almost see what this function is going to do. It's adding. Um, here, this one is taking two arguments. The arguments are separated by commas. In other words, but you'll see later, when the user is going to use this function, it's going to give two values to this function that this function is going to do something with. What is it going to do with it? Firstly, it's going to print to you what your arguments were that you gave, and then it's going to add the two values that you gave to it. Obviously, preferably in this case, I'm assuming two numbers, although they don't specify what it can be, so it could be any form of concatenation. Okay, so now how do I write my functions? Um, obviously, because we first learned how to write a normal piece of script without functions, for me, that becomes the logic of your function. So when I write functions, I always write the body first. I write the logic behind what I wanted to do. So if you take the previous example again, um, and I wrote it here at the bottom, uh, for example, this is what we did previously. You have a DNA sequence you want to create. You want to calculate the A content plus the T content. This part I will write first, what I want the function to do. I'm going to write that part first. 
And once that is done, I will then go ahead and add the syntax of a function to it. So again, this part should be familiar. This is what we just saw up here. This is the logic behind my function. In order to change it into a function, I need to add this line here, def, to define a function. And then I give it, a, I give my function a name, which is calculate AT content. And then it's going to take an argument, which is the DNA sequence for which I want to calculate the A and the T content for. And then obviously this part is completely familiar to you. And then lastly, I will add a return statement which is going to return to me what I wanted to return, which is this.